Hi there YouTube, it's Goji Prime with another Transformers toy review. Now in my last video, I did the first ever Optimus Prime toy that came out. So this time I thought I would do the latest Optimus Prime toy to come out. And well, for me at least, and for me that is Transformers Selects Star Convoy. Uh, now this is a repaint and a retool of the previous Power of the Primes, uh, Optimus Prime. Um, and it's a modern day interpretation of what was probably the last Optimus Prime toy, at least in the Japanese continuity, which was Star Convoy. Um, now, a little bit of history behind this character, or this version of Optimus Prime. Um, in the Japanese continuity, Optimus Prime died uh, yet again in the Headmasters cartoon series, and was then resurrected and brought back to life in a manga called Battle Stars, I think it is. Um, and this was like this was meant to be the ultimate, ultimate version of Optimus Prime. Uh, but this is the Generation Selects version uh, of, of him. And as I said, it's a repaint and a retool of the Power of the Primes, uh, Optimus Prime, which we got a couple of years ago. Now, originally, I wasn't actually going to get this particular figure, um, although I thought it was very nice. Um, or well, at least the retool was very nice. Um, I, I wasn't really going to get it. Um, and then I saw the images of the uh, Generation Select Super Megatron, which is coming out fairly soon. And I decided to get that. And I thought, right, I may as well get the corresponding Optimus Prime to go with it. So I was able to get my hands on one um, for a pretty decent price, actually, uh, because this figure does tend to go pretty pricey wise now on eBay, uh, but I was able to get one for uh, a fairly decent price. So as you know, with most, this is, you know, with most Optimus Prime figures now, this figure comes in two sections. We've got the cab section here, um, which is Optimus Prime or a smaller Optimus Prime. And then we have the trailer section here um, at the back, uh, which its sole purpose is to form the super body form of Optimus Prime. Um, now just to take you around the vehicle, now there are a few issues I do have with this, but we'll, we'll come to that in a minute. So we'll just take the trailer section and just move it to one side and just focus on the cab. Now the cab is, if I can get this to focus right, it's okay. It does have some problems, most notably here at the rear. Um, very little attempt is made to hide the arms um, of the figure. Um, so it's a bit lackluster for me as a truck mode. Don't get me wrong, it's it's very nicely detailed in some spots. You know, you've got the nice some nice chrome applications here on the wheels and the bumper section, these lovely little details on the, on the yellow lights here. Yeah, even the windscreen wipers are painted, which I think is really, really nice. Um, but as truck modes go for an Optimus Prime, it's a little lackluster. Uh, there are better truck versions of Optimus Prime. Um, that have come out before, but it's not bad. I mean, the reason for this, I think, is more to do with the transformation into the super robot mode um, and the mini robot mode as well. So the truck, the truck mode is okay. It's not brilliant, but it's okay. Now, moving on to the trailer section, um, the trailer is. Okay, again, it's it's not it's not great. It's not awful. The stickers you do have to apply yourself. Uh, they do come in the box. Now, as you can see here with mine, I made a fatal error and I got some air bubbles underneath my sticker. I, I can't get rid of them now. Um, if I ever do decide to get an upgrade sticker set for this, which is available, I believe, from Toy Hoax, um, you know, it'll solve the problem. But for now, I'm. It, 
you know, it is what it is. Um, but again, you know, there is some nice detailing on here. The wheels are very nicely detailed. The stick is nice, big, and shiny, and has that G1 Optimus Prime feel. Um, it's okay. I mean, the, the red sections here are for, you know, these are the arms here for the Super Robot mode. Um, and, you know, you can't physically actually put anything into the trailer itself. It's pretty, you know, there's no room to do that. As you can see underneath, it's basically just the legs and the chest section all folded up. Um, but it, it's not too bad. Again, it, it's not brilliant. It does suffer a bit um, in order to make the robot mode um, further down the line. But, you know, as a comparison, I'll just stick him there, and then we'll just bring out the original G1 Optimus Prime. And it's it's not bad. It's, it's a good truck mode, don't get me wrong. It's a good truck mode, but there are some sacrifices were made in order to, uh, to make the super robot mode for the figure, which we'll get to in just a moment. Um, so I'll tell you, we'll just move G1 Prime over there for now. Going back to the cab section, uh, the transformation for this guy is pretty easy. Now, one problem I do have with my figure, I don't know if this is the same with everyone's figure. The legs do pop off very, very easily on my figure. Um, now, I don't know a way to solve that problem. I imagine there is. And if anyone does know how to solve that problem, please leave a comment in the uh, sections below. But to transform the figure is fairly easy. Uh, you just take the arm, well, actually, first off, you just take the side panels here for the wheels and just fold them up. And then you, yeah. well, that should then allow you to bring forward, like so. Just give it a pull out. Now, that'll be the Super Robot's chest later on. Um, but for the moment, it's it's something else. So then you just bring your arms around, spin them around, spin that around there. Just get it down. There we go. Uh, there you can actually see the super robot head there, which I'll uh, I'll get a look at later on. Then you just lift this chest section up here, and it will tab in. Or it should do a little bit of. There we go. And then you've got your Optimus Prime small head. Now I'm going to do this bit a bit gently because I don't really want them to pop off again. Lower that there. And then you just twist the legs around. Gently again, like I said, might have a tendency to pop off. And again, just gently pull that around. Pull out his feet. Pull out his hands. And there you have the smaller, if I can get to focus, there we go. The smaller Optimus Prime figure. I'll just raise my camera a little bit for you there. And in all fairness, I mean, I, I was not a fan of the original power of the Primes figure. I didn't like that figure in any way, shape, or form. It just, I didn't like the evolutionary gimmick. I think that's what put me off it. But I do like this version of the figure, um, this retool from Orion Pax to Optimus Prime. It's, it, it's a, just a much nicer figure, in my opinion. Um, you know, you've got some nice detailing at this camera will focus. There we go. So you've got this lovely detailing on the eyes, these nice yellow eyes. The whole Chester is very nicely done. It's very nice paint all the way through. The one complaint I do have is the hands and these, this weird angle the fists are at. That's my one complaint about the figure. That's my only major complaint about the figure. Okay. So there he is there. As a bit of a size comparison, I'll bring out an old friend of mine, which is Classics Optimus Prime, uh, which I'll do a review on uh, at some point down the road. And, you know, he's a Voyager scale figure. He's a Voyager scale figure. He's not got as much 
kibble on him as this one has. But um, this this was my this was my Optimus Prime for my Generations collection for ten plus years, um, and then this year I've gone and bought four Optimus Prime figures in a row. But you know, it's a lovely, it's a very nice robot mode um, in this mode. Um, no, re I mean there is a bit of kibble on the back for the transformation purpose uh, to the super robot mode, but you know it's not really noticeable. Um, but yeah, it, it's very nicely colored in red, blue. I love the detailing on the chat on the uh, hip section here. Uh, that really stands out very nicely. So what I'll do is I'll pause the video. I will get him transformed into super robot mode because I do struggle with the trailer a little bit. And then I will show him uh, in super robot mode. I'll be back in one second. Okay, so there you go. That was a bit weird probably with the transitions, but there you go. Um, so this is Optimus Prime, or Star Convo as he is known, back into his super robot mode. Now, um, as I said before, I'm not a fan of the mold that this was based on. However, I absolutely love this thing in its super robot mode. And this is the mode that it is displayed in always on my shelf um just to give move it back a bit back so you can see them all there he is so he is quite large now as a leader class figure um you know the, the trailer section turns into this giant super robot and then you plug in the uh the mini bot into the back um here you can see his legs here uh, sticking out, but that's pretty much all you can see on oh, you can see his hands too. I'll actually turn that one down That's meant to fold down like that, but there you go. I Won't be editing that out later so In super robot mode he is quite large and he's having a bit of trouble standing on this table I think because it's made of wood um, but you know, he's a great looking figure. There's a lot of detail in it. I love this star on his chest and the, you know, the Autobot logo with the three yellow uh, triangles here and the guns on top of his, uh, his arms. Um, it all just really looks really, really great. And just to get up close to his head, I absolutely love this face sculpt for Optimus Prime. It's really, really nice. Um, it does switch to blue eyes instead of the yellow eyes we had on the minifigure, but you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. It looks really, really cool. It really, really does. Now, you, you do get a silver matrix um, with this figure, which you're meant to put into your gun here. Uh, mine is as loose as hell um, and kept falling apart. So I've just thrown the Matrix into my uh, spare parts box and I just have it as just the black rifle instead. Um, but just to give you an idea of how big this fella is, if he'll stand up straight enough for me, there we go. So if we just bring back Classics Prime, he's a lot bigger than Classics Prime. So this is, you know, a leader size figure now. You know, we've gone from a Voyager to a leader size, to a good decent size leader class figure now. So all in all, if, I, if you are looking to get an alternative Optimus Prime to your collection, I would recommend getting Selects. It does have some problems. The, the vehicle mode isn't, you know, as good as it could be or maybe should have been, uh, but they've made sacrifices for the transformation purposes to get you to this. And this is where this figure does shine as the super robot mode. Uh, and this is the mode it's gonna stay in on my shelf uh, going forward. Um, it is gonna form the center of my Selects collection now. Uh, when I get the Megatron, I already have Selects Ricochet. I'll probably end up getting Red Wing uh, at some point and a couple of the other new figures that are coming through the line also. Uh, and you know, I'll build up the little selects shelf uh, with this uh, acting as the centerpiece along with Megatron. So that's my review and my thoughts on select generation selects star convoy. Is it worth it? 
yeah, I think it's worth it. But if you, as long as you can get it at a decent price, don't pay anything more than I'd say 60 to 70 pounds for this figure. Anything else I think is just way, way too much. But at the end of the day, it's a very nice figure uh, to add to your collection if you are looking for a nice alternative style on Optimus Prime. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe, share, comment below, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you very much.